Hi, welcome back. I am going to demonstrate how I cast off a kneading mach machine. This is the 40 pin central and I have cranked to my last row here. As you can see, my black needle is there. I have 28 rows in total. So what you want to do is cut your yarn and you want to leave a nice length of yarn so you can pick up these stitches. Now I'm going to bring you in closer so you can see what I'm doing. All right, that should be good right there. So once you're done with your last row, you want to take the yarn and bring it to the inside of the machine like that. And you want to hold it here with your fingers, right? And as you can see, this is my last pin. So I want to have my yarn on the last pin. And I'm just going to crank a little bit so that it is, the pin is grabbing this yarn. Now, I have my darting, darting, darting needle on it. I think that's what it's called, my yarn needle on it. I got these from Amazon. They are linked down below if you would like to purchase your own. I love these because it has the curved edge to pick up the stitches easily. So we're going to be picking it up with this. This is the way to pick it up if you don't use waist yarn. Mostly if, like if you're making a beanie, you don't need waist yarn. You just need to pick up your stitches as you go. So there, my yarn is safe. I can crank a little bit onto this black pin. It's no longer in view. As you can see, you can't see the black needle anymore. And I'm just going to insert my needle in there and grab and pick up the yarn. And I'm just going to pull my yarn through. And I'm just going to keep cranking like this slowly because you don't want these to come off without you being able to grab the the yarn or the stitch I should say that is my second one and once you've gotten the hang of this you can pick up multiple at a time but for the first few pins like let's say three four pins you want to do one at a time because it's going to be a tight tension here and you're not going to be able to pick up more than one so that was my third and you just keep on cranking until the needle disappears and you're able to get in there with your needle I mean with your yeah with your yarning needle or darning needle whatever it's called and now I'm gonna crank again and I'm gonna pick it up I'm gonna crank again and I'll pick up that one crank again pick up that one excuse my dog crank again and pick up that one and then I can just and make sure that this pin is still up so the yarn doesn't come loose or what you can do is just while you're pulling the yarn just hold it in place so it doesn't come apart as it's done right now making sure that it doesn't fall from my grass there I got it And it's as simple as that. So you just got to do it slowly. Now this one, since the um, the digital thing is there, the magnet, you got to make sure that you look down on it and pick it up. I hope my head wasn't in the way. But I was looking to make sure that I didn't drop my stitch.
And that was my last pickup. Move the machine out the way. And now all you have to do is just pull on that yarn. And there you have it. All the stitches were picked up. You can just check it to make sure. If you left one behind, you will be able to tell at this point. And what you can do is just tighten it a little bit and then go around with the to close it go around and then pick up that st loose stitch that you might might have left behind but I didn't so all you want to do to close up the top of the beanie is go through the stitches like so you can cut your yarn at this point so it, it, it's not that long and just keep picking up those stitches like that pick up as many as you can to close up your work pick up a few more and then I'm going to tighten it up and then don't pull too 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 tight so you don't break your yarn and that is oops I wasn't in frame and that is how you pick up your stitches now to um secure this so it doesn't come undone all you will have to do is go from one side to the other like so and make a knot just put it through when you get closer grab the yarn this is how I like to do it and then just pull that yarn through this side and then tighten it up as you go. I don't want to do that because I'm not doing anything with this work so I can reuse this this fabric or this yarn that I have but you then you do the same on the other side just pull on it until you close it up and then you weave it through the same way we did this side and that is how you pick up your stitches on a circular knitting machine and this works on any machine if you have the central or the caddy or any other brand that's out there this is how you would do it anyway guys that's it for this video i hope that this was um helpful to you if um you were looking to see how to cast off and stay tuned i have a lot more tutorials coming up and Remember that the links are all down below and these are affiliate links just an FYI I get a little commission if you decide to click on those links and purchase anything I get a little commission and that really helps um, me and my channel to purchase more material to make more videos so I appreciate your help in that way and by watching and liking and subscribing also works so thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one